Welcome everybody. The goal of scraping is to extract data from websites, right? Without scraping items, we return unstructured data in the form of Python dictionaries. This can lead to errors and faulty data. Luckily, Scrapy provides us with the item class, a class that we can inherit to make our data more structured. While you can use your own Scrapy project, I will recommend you to follow along this video with the last version of this tutorial series. If this is your first video, you can close the GitHub repo I will leave you on the description box. Do you have the code? First, to use the Scrapy item, you need to create a Scrapy item. And it's already done, here. On our root folder, we have an items Python file. This one. And besides this link, we have nothing here. Well, we have an example here. Name equals Scrapy field. This is what we need to do to create our variables. So, let's do it. We have a title, final image, price, stock, stars, description, UPC, price with and without taxes, and tax. So, for each one of these values, we need to create a field on the item. So, let me copy them. And now, we are going to create the fields. I'm going to leave this as an example. And we need to define the fields. And every field is Scrapy period field. That's it. That's all we need to create a Scrapy item. Now we need to... let me close this. Now let's check this item is working. Let's load the Scrapy shell with Scrapy. First of all, let's import the item. Let's import it. And let's create a book. Let's create the first book with fields that exist on this item. For example, let's see, and we got no error here. Book 1, price and title. OK, let's create a second book using fields that this item doesn't have. For example, book 2. And, and box items does not support field graphic card. We cannot use fields that are not defined on the item. That's the point of using items. Let's go back and let's use this item. Let's import it from items import box item. Now we can use box item. Let's go here. And let's create an instance of this item. For example, book. Now the book is empty, so we need to add the values to the keys. Let me copy the values. Now we need to add the values to the keys. As we have created each field with the same name as the value, it's pretty easy. And let's assign the value. Like this. Now instead of yielding this, let's yield book. And that's all. We have created an item here. We import it here. We create an instance of the book for its iteration. And we assign to the key the value. Finally, we yield the book. The book is a books item instance with these values. Let's try the spider. Name of the spider, spider, and item. Let's speed this up. Now it's done. Let's see, fingers crossed. And as always, we have thousand books. Let's format this. And everything is in order. Let's see. And we have 1000 results. 1000 books. As always, we have our 1000 books 
this time with a stronger and more solid code by using Scrappy Spider. This one. As you saw, using Scrappy items, it, it is pretty easy. You just need to create a Scrappy item like this one, import it here, create an instance, and then add the values to the fields. This opens the door to also use the item pipeline. This. Which process the item scraped? The item pipeline tells to Scrappy how Sol process the scraped items. For example, validating the fields, this one, cleaning the values, and more. You can learn that on my next video. And remember, if you liked the video, subscribe to get notified when I upload more videos, like this video, and I will see you on my next video. Thank you.